Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we've got some really crazy changes that have happened to QuickBooks Online that you need to be aware about. Basically, that left-hand navigation panel that we all know and love about is now going to be completely changed. And what we're going to do is we're going to explore those changes, find out what's changed, find out what's different, and try and find out if we can figure out how to make it work for us. This video is going to be really important if, like me, at first you were quite confused about the new changes that have happened. Stay tuned. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I'm a Chartered Accountant, a certified UK trainer with a fancy new logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, and also head of account here at Boffix. Now, today's video is going to be all about that new left-hand navigation bar what it means, what can we do about it, and how do we make sure we're as efficient as we can possibly can with it going forward. With that being said, let's jump straight into it and figure out, first of all, what's actually changed. Okay, so first of all, the important thing is what's actually changed. If you look here, I've got two accounts shown. One of them on the left-hand side is the new panel. And on the right-hand side is QuickBooks Labs. Now, for both of these, if I go to Company Cog, and notice I'm in accountants view. If I switch to business view on this side and switch to business view on this side, this is where the changes start to be shown. Now with these changes, what it is designed to do is make it really easy for the end consumer to use it. And for the most part, they've done a brilliant job here because actually I think that once you've got used to it or once you've kind of forgotten about what the old version was like, you do get into a position where you actually got a lot of extra bells and whistles here that I think from a, from a consumer point of view, they're gonna absolutely love it. So before we have a deep dive into the new bar, let's concentrate first of all, what's changed? Well, as you can see straight away, we have a completely new layout on the left-hand side compared to what we have on the new side over here. Compared to what we're used to, over on the right hand side. Now straight away from a feature point of view we get this opportunity here to use bookmarks which we don't have on this side and it looks like the new bar is just a slightly better use of the actual space and it looks like the new bar is slightly longer but thinner on the left hand side whereas on the right hand side we have that full normal new bar that we're used to. Okay, so let's try and find out what's there than what wasn't before. So the easy one really will be taxes. That is still there in taxes on the left-hand side, so we've got them on both sides. Payroll, that's still there, so that's easy to understand, so we can see the payroll bits. And then only because I've done some investigation do I now know that transactions, which we had on the left-hand side, is now the new bookkeeping tab just there. We do have an overview page over here, but I'm not convinced it's the same overview, but we will check. I think that the dashboard and the get things done tab will be the similar. That leaves then on the left-hand side, a question mark over accounting review Sales and expenses, well, that looks like it's going to be part of this get paid and thing. So if I kind of finger them together, sales, expenses, with get paid and pay. We're not sure where cash flow is now. Mileage, accounting, or my accountant. So straight away is very, very jarring. And this is what I found straight away when I was doing the work for a client who was on this new left-hand navigation model. For me, it was confusing. For me, it was tricky to find what it was I was looking for. So straight away, it does feel jarring. It does feel like those places aren't quite where they used to be at. But there is a reason for this. And it is designed, as again, I said in the intro, for that end consumer to be able to get the most out of what's going on. Let's take a bit of an explore into some of the options to see if we can compare the two. The main change here is that I, when I click into one of the left-hand panels, so now on the left-hand panel, when I click into it, I get the sub-menu, 
on the right hand side, my sub menu would pop up on the right. Now it's important to know that anytime you need to swap between the two left hand navigation bars, you can just reverse what I did at the beginning. Company cog, switch to accountant view, and I do get back my full left hand navigation that we're used to. Switch to business view, and I'm back looking at my old, or my brand, and I'm back looking at that brand new left hand navigation panel. So let's try and compare the two. So taxes and taxes, they seem to be exactly the same. You go into them, you've got your VAT, you've got your income tax, and on my right hand side, I've got my CIS as well. So happy with them two, they're exactly as, as expected. Payroll as well, payroll is gonna be the same as what I could kind of imagine them they're gonna be, they're in the same place. But the rest of them get a little bit more interesting. You see, I'm now trying to find my, maybe my dashboard area, get things done. Well, now Get Things Done's got its own separate area, which I'm not sure why, but that is its own separate area that's there. Then Business Overview, which was our business overview screen there, doesn't just give me a business overview, but that's where we're going to find reports, planner, and projects. All of them used to be on their own separate tab. So your projects go here. Uh, reports now go here and then the planner which was cash flow goes here when I click into all of them they're all going to give me the exact same results but now you can see that they're all in their own individual area clicking into them I get my reports but I've lost the ability now to get to performance center that doesn't seem to be available anymore Cash flow planner seems to be the same, project seems to be the same. Then we get paid and pay. Well, when I go to get paid and pay, I've got my overview screen, which is the overview from my sales area. Yep, yeah, same again, I'm happy with them. Uh, customers, customers, as you would get up there. Invoices, invoices. Products and services, products and services, but I've lost my all sales area. That doesn't exist anymore. And the same with suppliers and my expenses. I now don't have my expenses area either. So we seem to have lost those two. Then on the left hand side is probably the biggest change. We now have bookkeeping tab. And for me, the bookkeeping tab, well, that sh replaces transactions maybe, but yet it doesn't because under bookkeep, I've got my working papers and books review. So basically my accounting review section now lives here. My transaction section is under bookkeeping. Rules though, randomly, has gone to its own area. Tags has gone to its own area. And we have the accounting area down here, now part of chart of accounts and also part of reconcile. And then the my accountant area is down there as well. So that's a lot to get your head around, but basically that bookkeeping area within the section on that left hand side seems to be kind of your main area to go to. And then if I was to go to transactions, Ah, okay, so from a transactions point of view, you'll see that that's where my all sales and expense section is, but my receipt section is exactly the same as the receipt section there. Same with the banking, as you can kind of imagine from that one. So it's like the transaction areas become this area of your bank and your receipt, your all sales, your expenses, all into one, which kind of makes a lot of sense, doesn't it, from a end user perspective. That's the bit on here that I can really get on board with. I can see where that bit's going. I can see what's happening there. One thing I'm a bit confused about and love to have your comments below is why has that bookkeeping area become so bloated? Now we've got your work, work papers, your bookkeeping review, your transactions, your rules, job account, tags, my account, reconcile, they're all there. 
And what's happened to Performance Center? Why has that suddenly disappeared? And the overview screen as well. Now I know that technically this is supposed to be for the business only air view. And we do have the accounting view that will bring that back. But if I'm trying to kind of learn myself and as the accountant, I'm trying to get to grips with that new view and want to get more involved with that. If I wanted to, I'd be losing some of the functionality. One of the other problem areas I seem to have here as well is the idea that we're making the reconcile thing almost seem like it's not for our end customers, which is completely not what we're trying to do here. So the fact that we've kind of put the experts area with the reconcile section. My fear there is that clients or the end consumers of QuickBooks are gonna think that that reconcile button isn't for them, when we all know that it definitely is. Having rules, chart of accounts and tags there under that manage section, I like that. I think that's a great addition. But I'm not sure why this transaction area, this bookkeeping area is so bloated. Um, and I feel like we're kind of, for saying that we've at the very top there, for whatever reason, here we've got that business overview or overview page or get things done page has its own tag. Personally, I would prefer to see the business overview there. I think that's a better fit. Um, but having this here, yeah, it, it didn't quite fit right for me. And then actually under the app section is the mileage app there. Doesn't seem to give us any option to go to any other form of my app. I don't know. I'm not sure that, you know, that the mileage section needs to be in its own app section, but you know, unless we're looking to add some extra elements to it later down the line, which could, could work, I suppose. The bookmark section, I really like. Um, it doesn't follow through though. So if I was to then go to the com company cog, switch back to the review, that's not gonna follow through with me, which is a shame. But overall, I really like that bookmark section. So what do you think then? So overall, it is jarring, the fact that we are moving from one view that we're used to to another. Um, it is difficult to kind of look at that and difficult to kind of um, get past it. I think overall the, the the move is better for the end consumer. I think there's a lot there where the end customer is going to get a lot of benefit out. I think it, it the, you know, our old style left hand navigation was getting historically bloated, was getting kind of more difficult to understand. I think this new lick of paint, this new opportunities, new accessibility is a really good idea. I'm just not sure that some of the places where some things are now kept make as much sense. And if you look at the American version as well, there's even more complication there as, uh, that, that comes through with this terminology of live bookkeeping versus normal bookkeeping. So hopefully from the UK point of view, we stay away from that complication. That being said, I welcome the change, but as an accountant, I yet can't yet use it because I've actually got some functionality there that I use all the time, like performance center, for example, it doesn't actually exist in the new layout yet. So until those kind of new aspects come back in, I feel like we need to, we'll, we'll be waiting. I also use that overview tab all the time. That's missing as well. So yeah, it'd be good when them to get back in. But again, what do you guys think? That's the important bit to look at. And is there anything else you want me to have a more deep dive look into? So far, so good. I think we've kind of got some good parts in there. There's definitely some bits that I'd hope gets changed before this properly gets rolled out. I think the reconcile area was already complicated to get to, hitting down in that accountant section. We want to be encouraging reconciliation as much as possible. Personally, I'd like to see it, you know, almost on that transaction page or somewhere like that, just so that we can have it there as front and center of it's what part of your to-do element to it. But it's interesting, and I can imagine it's something that we're going to get them more, even more out of later down the line. So I'm looking forward to kind of seeing how that works with some of the new features that are coming down, like QuickBooks Bank, for example. I imagine this is where that's gonna get really, really powerful for us and give us an opportunity to make the most out of it. It'll be interesting to see how long we have left of the old style view, because I, got I, I can only imagine that some of the new features they're planning to bring on board may not be compatible with the old view, but we can wait and see. Again, Stick your comments down below. Let us know what you think of the changes and how you've been adapting to them. And let me know if there's any other things you want me to cover on this channel. As always, my name has been Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks chap, as it says on my t-shirt. So big shout out to Rachel over at Count and Cheap for getting me this t-shirt. And go check out her store, which we'll put a link down below to say thank you. My name has been Aaron Patrick. As always, been an absolute pleasure to do this video for you. 
and I'm sure I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him na, 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 na My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah Hello and thank you for watching that video. What you may not know is this channel that you've watched this video from is part of a wider group. That wider group is called Apple Core Production. And the three channels that we have involved are as follows. Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks Chat. Boffix Tax Tip. Finally, we have Apple Core Live and Geeky. All the links and everything are down below in the description. But it really mean a lot to us if you can go and give a like to the other channels as well.